Hi, right, good morning and good evening to everyone around the world. So in this video, we're going to demo how to deploy to EKS using um, EKS CTL. So we're going to create an EKS demo. Do we have, uh, we already have an EKS demo. We just created it. And then first we're going to create an Angular application. So let's ng new, uh, EKS demo is the name of our app. Uh, no, we don't want server side rendering. All right, so it's working now. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, so it's installed. Oh, no, it's already created the uh, Angular. And then we are going to create a Docker file. So Docker file. Then we're going to create an Nginx config. Then we're going to go to Coffee Pasta Dev. Or maybe we can just copy and paste things that are already created for us here. So this one here, we're put, we'll put this in our Docker file, not in the Nginx, in the Docker file. So this is going to be named EKS demo. And then in our Nginx, uh, this will be the Nginx. Okay, so uh, here we have a browser here because this is Angular 17 and it's, um, it now has a browser because I think it's because there's a server side rendering. Well, yeah, I don't know why, but we'll investigate why there's a browser now. Um, so, yep, we have it, we have the Docker file, uh, we have it nginx. Um, next is we are going to create um, in the ECR, we're going to create a repository. So that is going to be the, uh, we'll just uh, do it as public for now. Then this will be named AKS demo. And then create. Create the repo. So this is now, this is, I'll take note of this. I'll put the notes here outside. We'll put this in a readme.md. So this is the uh, ECR repo. And then I uh, will go inside that and let's view the push command. Uh, we are first going to log in. Let's go back to EKS demo. Inside Angular, uh, you can do this outside also uh, the Angular directory, but let's log in here so that we'll do the build um, inside, yeah, so it's already logged in. Uh, let's uh, build the image. <clears throat> oh, now check it out. I remember, I remember, yeah. Right, so it's done building. We're then going to tag it. And then after that, we are going to push it to ECR. <coughs> so it'll be pushed to the ECR. Do -do 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 
Since you're the father, the father, I remember, I remember, yeah. Mambo. I came into this world as a reject, looking to the eyes, see inside the eyes of the flame. You're dwelling on my past, it's burning up my brain. Everyone of birds got to learn from the flame. Hey, I think about a day, my girl went away with my bae, as the villains got to play. Unless she's stuck with a homie that she fuck on, oh, I just suck her with a lump on my throat like a chompy, or oh, like a chompy, like a chompy, or oh, like a chompy. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? I just got inside, I'm the laughing stuff in the neighborhood. I may be moving on, and I walk up in the sand, fuck up in the head now. Right, so it's now pushed. Uh, it's time to create our cluster. So we'll first define a cluster here. Uh, let's call this cluster.yaml. And this is where we're going to define our cluster. So we have our cluster created here uh, earlier. We'll just name this to um, EKS demo cluster. Yes, demo cluster, and then we don't have to change anything here. Uh, maybe I don't know uh, labels. I'm not sure on this part yet, but these are just for node groups. If you don't have node groups, um, it will it will not work. Um, so uh, next is we are going to execute the uh, EKS CTL. Uh, so you need to have this EKS CTL installed in your machine. And if you've already installed it, I can run the command EKS CTL create cluster F dash F or file uh, where the cluster is defined, the cluster.yaml and our cluster configuration is defined. And why is it not refound? Ah, because we're inside the EKS directory. Uh, we're in the Angular directory. We need to go up, yeah, there, and execute. This will this will usually take uh, fifteen minutes to um, complete the creation of the cluster. So we'll post it for now. Everything's new, Jay. Nothing for for every breath I take. I won't take it for granted. So I we'll learn from my mistakes. What's beyond my control? Sometimes I try to let go of whatever happened to this lifetime. So I trust in love. You are giving me peace of mind. I feel so alive for the very first time. Can't deny you, feel so alive. Uh, I feel so alive. All right, so the AKS cluster is now created. Um, we want to check the current context first. If what is the uh, so the current context is correct. This is the context of our AKS. Um, we then want to uh, download the auth, uh, AWS auth CM. This is going to authenticate, um, set the uh, rule that we created um, that has access to um, ECR, EC2, and like other privileges, EKS. Um, so we're gonna put this one here. And this assumes that rule. Uh, this assumes the rule. What? Um, 
So this, like this setup here, like the R EKS like worker, I think it's the worker, or I don't know. Um, we'll have we can assume this rule. So this can assume this rule, and this rule has access to ECR and other services that needs uh, that are needed to run our EKS. So after that, um, uh, let's go first to uh, oh we haven't created our our Helm yet, but yeah. So let's apply this EC um auth uh, AWS auth CM apply. Oops, what's that? Um, is it a cube CTL apply? Oops, nope. Um, hold on. Let me check our. Um, codex, codigos. Yeah, it's kubectl. What did I type? Kubectl. So we don't have kubectl here. Yeah, we have. So we're going to apply that. Okay, it's now configured. Wonder why did it, it didn't kubectl args apply what is missing here ah uh, if yeah sorry so like that. all right so should be kubectl apply yep 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 um so next is we'll create our helm chart so we'll call this helm create aks demo chart so it's going to create a helm chart here this is the helm chart and this one we want to point this to our repo so our ecr repo so we're gonna put this one here and then for the cluster ip here we want to change this to load balancer <laughs> And after that, we are now ready to um, run, uh, install. So Helm install is going to be EKS demo chart release. And the chart that we're going to use is EKS demo chart, which is the name of the chart that we just created in the previous step. All right, so let's install that. All right, so it's now installed. Let's check our our namespaces. So it's now it now has an IP. Let's check the pods of the default namespace. So we now have we have this image pool back ah oh, yeah 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 i forgot uh we have to change this to latest yeah so um because we have an update in our um chart what we want to do is go to the chart this one here we'll copy that paste it here but we want to change this to upgrade. <clears throat> Last night, all right. We are then going to run our get buds again. Okay, it's now running. And let's copy this and let's check the, um, let's describe this pod to get more detail. All right, so it's successfully pulling image, successful, successful. So everything is successful. Um, we now want to, again, like get the 
service because I missed to take note of the load balancers DNS all right so this one here let's load this and boom there you go our EKS demo nice so if we are going to make an update here so let's say let's open up terminal let's update this let's remove then let's change the title here h1 eks angular demo right so that updated angular so for now this is in local but we um in the next video we want to push this uh we want to put this in a ci cd pipeline so with that um let's again uh, because we have an update in our in our angular code uh, we want to rebuild um uh, redeploy or repush no this is the push command oh this one will rebuild our our aks demo app okay so let's build that again it's supposed to be tagged uh, differently but for now let's make it simple let's just always use the latest but in the real world the tag there should all should change so for this one like this one here right the latest or maybe we can tag it differently here so instead of latest we will call this 0, 0.0.1 0 .1, and then uh, like maybe cool like that and then let's push this so the push is 0 0.0.1 cool because okay, so it's now pushing to e ECR <coughs> right so it's now pushed we now want to update our value here this one instead of latest this is going to be 0 0.0 0.1 cool right and now we want to update upgrade so our command what is our previous command our install yeah so this one we just use this oops yeah go one level higher and upgrade our chart all right so if we refresh this should now have a new ecr or a new image um let's get the pods maybe the pods changes Oh, there's no new one. 20 seconds ago. What? Um, let's check the namespaces. Do we still have that? Um, yeah, this is still is this still the same load balancer maybe the previous um the previous pod is uh maybe decommissioning or something let's see here So this one, 
uh, how about the other pod? Successfully assigned. Maybe. Uh, hold on. Let's check our demo. Yeah, this is our latest tag. This is now a tag here. Um, why, 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 why? Yeah, this is still pending. How do we? Kill this. Ching, 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 ching. Or maybe, uh, yeah, let's try to uninstall and then reinstall. So what is the name again? Uh, helm Helm Uninstall AKS Demo Chart Release Okay, so it's now uninstalled um, Let's check for the pods We still have pods. Oh, yeah, it's terminating. So let's reinstall. Helm install uh, AKS demo chart release two. And then um, I'm going to use the AKS demo chart. Okay, and then let's get the services. Let's check for the new uh, lo um, DNS of the load balancer. And then let's put this here. Maybe it's not yet ready. Let's check the status here. The pods is still pending. Why is it still pending? Let's check the pod. So the pod says that Preemption is is not helpful. What's S? Zero nodes are available. Had untolerated taint. Unreachable preemption. Zero nodes. Oh, why are there zero nodes? So if we go to the nodes. Not ready. Yeah, this also happens before. Um, but yeah, um, let's make another video how we can resolve um, like changing the, if we do some update, I'm not sure why it's not running. But yeah, um, let's, let's delete, uh, delete this repo and let's clean up our things. Go to uh, cloud formation. Uh, the, the reason for this one is if I do the uh, deletion using EKSCTL, it will not succeed because of this issue here where the nodes are not running. So if we delete cluster F EKS 
uh, cluster dot yama as the other command the parameter If you do this right, um, it won't succeed because of some reason. It will say that, oh, it's deleting. I think it's good. Or I'm not sure. So it will say uh, eviction is not working or something. Beam. I came into this world as a reject. Look into the eyes, see inside the signs of the flame. Dwelling on my best, it's burning up my brain. Everyone that burns gotta learn from the flame. Hey, I think about the day my girl went away with my bae when my best got to play. And as you stop on the phone, as you stop on the phone, should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kinda sad, I'm the left inside from the neighborhood. Maybe just, just moving on, but I'm a fuck up like I said, suck up in the head now. I'm really making a mistake. I'm really, what you want me to say? Oh, see? There's an eviction issue. So, what we wanna do in that situation is we're just delete this stack here. This stack also. And then this stack. But you don't want me to say, I won't lie, then I can't deny. Take it off for the Nikki, come on, to Nikki, come on, so you can take the cookie. Spin up your hand, spin up your hand, spin up your hand, spin up your. Take it off for the Nikki, come on, the Nikki. Right, so those are <coughs> the, the node group, node group stacks are deleted. So now we want to delete this main uh, cluster stack. Right, it's now deleted. Oh, not yet. All right, so the cloud formation stacks are all gone. So let's go to our EKS to make sure we don't have an open cluster. All right, so that is clean. Let's go to EC2. All right, this is our ter terminating. So that's good and that's it. Let's try to troubleshoot on the next video and we'll try to put this in an Azure pipeline. All right, cool. Thanks. Bye.